and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this week's Best of Bob Blast is all about flowers. Enjoy it. Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about a painting I never wanted to do, flower paintings. Everybody was doing flower paintings when I started out many, many years ago, and they were so good. I didn't want to be like them. Uh, I didn't. I just didn't see myself as a flower painting painter until I saw this book, The Last Flowers of Manet. Oh my gosh! So what I saw here, what turned me on were his, basically, his beautiful neutral background, strong colors, pretty simple, really simple, and his painterly quality is what really got me, and the strength of the graphic design. Also, the simple backgrounds, and I was doing neutrals at, the, at that time, when I was looking at his backgrounds, all neutrals, just gorgeous the darks being in the shadow area. And then I saw the dark backgrounds. So graphically strong that it got me all excited. So you can see I was doing an awful lot of paintings much like that, really loose, when I liked about his work. But then I decided to start doing dark backgrounds. It was eye-opening for me even on my pieces that were kind of, you know, lots of color and neutral backgrounds. I switched it out to a dark background. Let me show you what worked for me. So this is the painting that really turned me on to color and subtle backgrounds and just strong simple shapes for flowers. And so I was doing a lot of paintings like that until I discovered his super dark backgrounds. But it all started after getting the book, studying them, falling in love with Manet, and then we get to go to the Museum d'Orsay. Oh boy. So we go to the second floor and I turn around the corner and in the Parisian section and there it was. There it was, 10 inches from my face. I'm sorry, I started crying, stuff coming out of my eyes and nose, and I was just gobbing all over the place. It was a great experience for me. I couldn't believe I was crying in front of a painting that I loved so much and said, here I was, 10 inches away from the painting that turned me on to painting again. And what turned me on was his gushy colors, his brush marks. He was known as the beginning of abstract impressionism. Can you imagine going from photorealism to now we're doing this with globs of paint and passionately. These were his last paintings and boy did he go for it with gusto. That was the greatest lesson for me. Start now, don't wait till the end. Let me show you what worked for, for me. So here's an earlier painting. I want to kick it up and I'm going to make the background darker. Here we go. I have here my white paint, my titanium white. I have black, this happens to be Mars black. And I have some quinacridone azo gold brown. Look at that. And the reason I'm using that brown mixed in with the black, it softens it. Doesn't make it so black, and here we go. I like the warmth, negative shape painting coming up. Look at that already. It's rich. Ooh. Again, negative shape painting. Oh man. And I liked how in Manet's paintings, the paintings didn't take over the entire page. So I'm coming in and cutting in a little bit, getting rid of some of them. There we go. I do like the shape. 
I'm looking at the graphic design. Of course, the graphic design of this one happens to be the cruciform, if you're looking at compositions. I like coming off the page like this too, by the way. Come in softer. Brush marks. Oh, wow. Keep it really wet. Constantly coming in. Now you can come in and also wipe away if you want, which is always fun. Look at this. Oh, gives it a nice light look over here. If you want. I'm going to come back inside here a little bit too. Whoa. It's glass, so I'm looking through it. The bottom of the glass, bring in some white. Wow. Now we're painting all over the place. And I want to have a shadow going off like that. What I really want to do is get the table to be white. That's one of the things that he did. A different brush. All white. I noticed that his tablecloths were light color. And one of the nice things about that is you can, you can see the shadow better. <laughs> Duh. There we go. Dramatic. Even down at this point. Don't give the viewer all the pieces of information that I like. Come back in the air again. Lighten it up just a little bit. Wow, this thing is starting to glow. Wow, I like that. And bring in some of the background color into the vase. There you go. As if you're looking through the glass. Now, let's come back up into here. You see? I haven't brought in color again right now. I just wanted to show you about taking the background color. Completely changing the entire painting. I have the drama of it. So I'll let this dry. And maybe I'll come back a little bit later on. And start adding maybe some color. The focal point color in this painting. So we're about to put in the focal point color. I'm using my fingers, it's a lot quicker. <laughs> there you go, you can't miss this. Adding some white around that too. Look at this, whoa, solid colors. See how your eye goes right to it now? So important to have simple, solid colors. Also, there we go. And maybe the inside of the flower. Might have a little bit of dark. Remember, don't put the dark part of the flower in the center. So that's what I mean by the focal point. What I have here on the wall are some examples of my influence from Manet. Dark background, strong focal point, light table. I also like to have a light background, neutral backgrounds, where the flowers, they get all the attention because it's kind of like a rodeo of colors. What can I tell you? So I like to go back and forth. You're looking at one of my back walls where I get to play back and forth, back and forth. It's always good to be a Gemini. Say, I hope you really enjoyed how I like to paint flowers was obviously a lot of gusto, you know, a lot of feeling, and I don't care what kind of flowers they are. I'm not a botanist, I'm a painter, and I hope you are too. So throw that paint around, and I'll see you at the next Bob Blast. Well, I hope you learned something on that one. That was fun, huh? Well, this was the book that really influenced me about painting flowers. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.